Hello, good people. Welcome to Crane Food Service Solutions. I'm Chef Robbie Hooker. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Growin Smart Steam Pro Boilerless Steamer. Please remember that all of this training is superseded by the owner's manual. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to turn on this power button and you'll see the screen light up. Here we have a removable drip tray, catches your extra condensation that comes out of the steamer. It can be emptied and cleaned very easily. It's got two holes here for these notches. The handle is shaped so when you're working with a hotel pan or any kind of pan, it catches right here and now you can open it so it's a hands-free handle. Very nice, very convenient. Here we have our removable tray. Any food that gets caught in here in the steamer can easily be taken out, dumped, and then washed and cleaned, and then returned. Here's our water reservoir that holds all of our water. So with this lid on the top, this heat creates the steam. You'll see on the side here is a convection fan. This is what gives you even steam all through the cavity of the chamber with all of your pans inside. Here are high water and low water floats. And back here is our drain. The lit up green icon means that the unit is now hot, 212 degrees. We have manual mode, timed mode, and a hold mode. Timed mode, we simply press. We can set hours and minutes. So we'll set one minute, start. This has a handy one minute timer. So let's say uh, you meant to set it for a couple more minutes. You can simply hit that, it'll add a couple more minutes to it. When you're using timed mode, once the time is elapsed, it'll automatically go into hold mode until you start cooking something else. You also have pan timers. So now we can name timers, okay? We have all these different selections that we can choose from. Say I wanna do for two minutes. I turn on that pan timer, asparagus. Let's say I want to do for one minute. I turn on that pan timer and now you'll see the pan timers are running. We also have manual mode. Manual mode means it's running all the time. Whether there's something in there or not, we also have pan timers in that mode too. We also have a hold mode. When this goes into hold mode, it will actually hold like a holding cabinet it'll hold between 145 and 165. So whatever you have in there will hold and you can hold for up to four hours. Hamburger button, we'll click unit info. Here you'll see all of the unit info. We have the model number, the serial number, manufacturer date, startup date, the firmware versions, our run times, last D-line date. We have our settings. We can either use military time or civilian time. We can set clock, set the date, pick our language, Fahrenheit or Celsius, a door alarm, keyboard beep, on or off, screen brightness, number of timers. We can actually have up to 10 timers. Compensating timer, you'll see that that's on. What that does is, is if I have a timer running and I open the door and I'm taking things out, it'll stop the timer until I close the door again. It doesn't keep on going if I don't want it to, okay? We have our alarm volume, our D-line button. I'll turn that on. You can also have a D-line reminder, so you can set a schedule if you so choose. Service is for our service techs, enter their codes to work on it, and then contact us, address, phone number, and email for growing. When deliming the steamer, we'll remove the pan. We'll add one cup of delimer to the water, return the pan, and then we'll be able to run our deliming cycle, which I'll show you here in a minute. To delime the unit, we'll hit the delime button, and we'll just follow the prompts. We'll start. So you'll see, prepare the cavity. We'll remove the fan shroud, the racks, steam lid, and wait a few minutes to allow reservoir to fill with water. We can now wash the fan shroud, the racks, and the steam lid in a three compartment sink 
our dish machine. Now we'll add our D-Lime solution. We'll use one cup of D-Lime solution into the reservoir and it'll take 60 to 90 minutes to D-Lime the machine. Once it's D-Limed, we can wipe it out and then leave the door open, allowing the steamer to dry and extend the life of the gasket. Once you clean the growing steamer, what you'll want to do is you'll want to leave the door open to let it dry and for another reason. You don't want it to form a vacuum. You'll see this gasket we have here. If we close it and, it cool, and it's cooling, it'll wear this gasket out faster. So when we're done, we want to leave the door propped open. Thank you for joining us at Crane. I hope that helped. And if you need any other assistance or help, please reach out to your Crane rep. Take care.